and causes infertility and even cancer. But governments didn't warn about the dangers of BPA, widely used in plastic bottles, food cans, and soda cans, until only a few years ago. For more on why, I filed this report for InfoWars Nightly News. And Aaron, you have done a deep uh, investigation into bisphenol A. We're uploading this to the new rant section, the behind-the-scenes area at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, give us um, 60 seconds on your deep research into bisphenol A. I'm absolutely horrified that the more they modify with things and add chemicals they've developed over the past century, it, it's all targeted just by accident at making us sterile and infertile and unable to reproduce, even while I've done just an incredible amount of research on the eugenics and depopulation agenda, which they're just totally obsessed with. And so this report's all about how the plummeting fertility and sperm rates over the past 50 years just happens to be tied with the fact that stuff like bisphenol A keeps popping up in all kinds of products, not just food cans and, and uh, plastic bottles, but stuff like clothing and printing receipts and baby formula. Just That's right. We think we won a victory starting to get it out of some of the plastics for, like, babies. It's in everything, including that printer paper right there. And it's exactly what Holdren talked about, picking something that's in everything so you can't escape, reducing massive fertility. If you knocked it out completely, people would finally wake up. But if you just reduce it, but it also flips uh, basically the sex of men and then hyperfeminizes women. It's linked to breast cancer. And then we cover it and say, oh, look, you know, this uh, causes uh, male mice to try to procreate with each other. They go, you're bashing gay people. And it's like, no, I'm not saying back in Roman times there weren't gay people. It's not a moral issue we're even discussing here. Yeah. Uh, if, you know, runoff from bisphenol A causes male fish to uh, uh, basically show feminine traits and get cancer, it's not about gay fish, okay? We're not obsessed with that stuff like people out there. Uh, this is people artificially having this done to them chemically, and it's almost like, uh, to use an analogy, uh, what is the last man in the world, or what's the... Uh, it was a novel uh, that, uh, it's a movie we've watched together, uh, where... Um, what, Children of Men, where they can't breed anymore? No, no, Children of Men, yeah, no, that came out a few years ago. It's the horror movie, where it's the zombies. 28 Weeks Later. Yeah, 28 Weeks Later, but it's the one that came before that with the old horror Last actor. Last Man on Earth. Yeah, 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 Last Man on Earth. Oh, what's the name of that actor? Isn't it Vincent Price? Yeah, yeah, Vincent Price. But the point is, there's not just the zombies. There's then the people that have turned into the vampires that have basically kept some of their uh, mental faculties together. Yeah. And he goes to them and says, I have the cure. They're like, no, we don't want it. Ah, and throw it into us. Okay, great. If you like what they've done to you, go with it. Okay? That's what we're saying here. Great. If you like it, go with it. The point is, is that breast cancer is massively increasing because of this and a cocktail of other factors. And it's changing the endocrine makeup uh, in males to absolutely confuse them. Okay? So... That's what I'm talking about right here. Aaron, you are absolutely kicking butt. Any other key points you want to add here? No, right now. All right. This is behind the scenes, man. I just ran up with a camera. Are you liking it? Yeah, it's very interesting. What do you think of the changes we've made here? What do you think of uh, just the buildup, the energy? I can feel it. I like doing new stuff. Yeah, we got a all-new addition to the crew, several new members, and, and this whole new show, it's going to be incredible. Keep talking, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Advice phenol A, very healthy stuff there. I don't know. They're attacking us, and it's if you wanted to get away from this stuff, it's very difficult to do it. And so there is a way to get it out of your body, but you have to work for it. And instead of even getting into the carcinogenic issues, when we talk about this, we've been nationally attacked. They go, shut up, you hate gay people. And we're like, uh, no, it's doing it to fish and frogs and, and mice. Shut up, you're hateful. Well, it's a sophisticated 3D, 4D, five-dimensional issue, and they want to make it a two-dimensional issue, like... You're on the left or the right, or you're pro-gay or anti-gay. Or... It's not even about that. The point is, it's sterilizing men, hyper-feminizing well, hyper women. Well, I mean, your choice or what God or nature intended has nothing to do with man-made chemicals being put into stuff on purpose. Well, that's like when it came out that they had that plan for Iraq of the gay bomb. Remember that? Yeah, that's and, in there, too. And then they attacked the press for even reporting on it. That was like KLBJ had this billboard in town, one of our affiliates here in Austin, and it said... Uh, God, comma, uh, guns, and gays, meaning obviously controversial issues. And people are like, it's coded hate speech. We're not talking about that, okay? We're talking about breast cancer. We're talking about 
boys not going into puberty till two or three years later, and girls as young as five and three going into puberty. It hyperfeminizes women and feminizes boys. That's what we're talking about. Do you understand? It's in everything. Political correctness is meant to block you from discussing issues. This is about chemical warfare. Anything else? Yeah, yeah, there is something else because it also makes this whole two-tiered system. If you have enough information and enough money to avoid BPA, you can do it. But if you're poor and relatively uneducated on the BPA issue, you can't avoid it. It's only in all these consumer goods that have been promoted through globalization. You know, people are more likely to end up at a Walmart than some kind of mom and pop store where they don't use those products, et cetera, et cetera. So it all becomes a perfect storm of this world control. Keep going, Aaron. And it's not by accident. I mean, we know what the Rockefellers and the others have written about for centuries and centuries. And then they make money on treating all of it. And again, in conclusion, it's just like they have all the cancer institutes and groups that, that at the top are aware of all this. They then control the advocacy of it to make sure none of this ever comes out. You understand that? I mean, it, it is so amazing. It is total social engineering. It's Brave New World where they said they chemicalized the babies from birth. Nobody breeds. You're in a test tube, and then you're in groups, little... Uh, um, uh, what do you even call them? Nestlings. You know, hatcheries. Al alphas and deltas and betas, and some are more attractive and some are less attractive. Others are suboids. Some are meant to be workers, yeah, suboid workers. And, and, and Huxley said, oh, hey, my brother heads the UN UNESCO before he died. He said, this is our plan for you. I'm part of a secret breeding program. It's all admitted. I mean, Aaron, when you first came to work here five years ago with your UT degree, smart guy, you, you already knew a lot of this because you were at UT and they were telling you world government was good. Right. Uh, uh, you know, in that, uh, what was the particular school you were in, the LBJ? Uh, well, that's the graduate school. I was in the undergraduate yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for government studies. But you said they were just totally pushing it, just like it was no big deal. Yeah, yeah. But, but then simultaneously saying none of it exists if you criticize it. But then, Aaron, now that you've probably researched this even more than I have because of my obsession on reality, what have you discovered? What can you tell people? It's a deep, deep rabbit hole, and it just happens to nexus with all the typical characters at the bottom. It's disgusting how much they've tried to manipulate. It's social engineering on every level. Absolutely. In closing, reporter Darren McBreen. Darren, you're doing a great job. What do you think of this stuff? I love it. New studio. Looking forward to uh, tomorrow night, the official launch. So uh, we're just all working as hard as we can to get this thing together. And uh, so far, everybody's clicking. Good teamwork. That's what it takes. Well, we appreciate you guys putting in the long hours for the launch of the InfoWars Nightly News. Rob Dew? Oh, hi. I'm uh, too busy to think right now. Codename so Captain Morgan. <laughs> all right, with that, we're done because we've got a lighting guy coming in. we got some more work to do, and we're getting ready. Join us, InfoWars Nightly News, PrisonPlanet.tv. Woo! Sign in.